In this unit, we will discuss different types of monitors available for charge simulations. Monitor objects can be added to the simulation by clicking on the corresponding buttons in the monitor section under the charge tab. Once added, they will appear under the charge solver object in the object tree. A charge monitor can record the spatial distribution of electron and hole densities within the monitor's space. In addition, it is capable of calculating the total number of electrons and holes within the monitor's space using a spatial integration. The monitor geometry can be 1D or linear, 2D or 3D. The user has the option to record electron or hole densities, or both, and can opt to save the results inside a separate file in addition to the simulation environment. Total charge calculation can also be disabled or enabled. The monitor's location and size can be adjusted under its geometry tab. The charge density distributions returned by the monitor will always have the unit of per cubic centimeter, regardless of whether the monitor is 1D, 2D, or 3D. The total number of electrons and holes is a unitless number for a 3D monitor and in a unit of per meter for a 2D monitor. The total charge result is not available for a 1D monitor. The electric field monitor records a spatial distribution of the electric field within the monitor region as well as the electrostatic potential. It can also calculate the net total charge within the monitor space using Gauss's law. The monitor geometry can be 1D or linear, 2D or 3D. The user has the option to save electric field or electrostatic potential or both and can opt to save the results inside a separate file in addition to the simulation environment as well. Total net charge calculation can also be disabled or enabled. The monitor's location and size can be adjusted under its geometry tab. The electric field distributions returned by the monitor will always have the unit of volts per meter regardless of whether the monitor is 1D, 2D, or 3D and the electrostatic potential will be in the unit of volts. The total net charge is reported in the units of coulombs for a 3D monitor and coulombs per meter for a 2D monitor. The total charge result is not available for a 1D monitor. The band structure monitor is a 1D monitor that calculates the band structure of materials in the areas covered by the monitor and returns the conduction, valence, intrinsic, and Fermi energy levels. The monitor could be aligned along the X, Y, or Z coordinates and the user has the option to choose the data to be recorded from conduction, valence, intrinsic, electron Fermi, hole Fermi and vacuum levels. The monitor's location and size can be adjusted under its geometry tab. All the energy levels returned by the monitor are in the units of electron volts. The current flux monitor can calculate the total flux of current through a line, area or volume of the simulation region. The monitor geometry can be 1D or linear, 2D or 3D. The user has the option to record electron or hole current or both. The monitor's location and size can be adjusted under its geometry tab. The current is reported in the units of amperes for a 3D monitor, amperes per meter for a 2D, and ampere per meter squared for 1D. The temperature monitor can record the spatial temperature profile within the monitor's space only when performing non-isothermal or coupled heat and charge simulations. The monitor geometry can be 1D or linear, 2D or 3D, and the user can opt to save the results inside a separate file in addition to the simulation environment. The monitor's location and size can be adjusted under its geometry tab. The temperature results are returned in the units of kelvins.